Hi friends, my name is First Lady of America. I know to some of you it seems like the world is ending and it might very well be. Hopefully this video lifts the mood. Before I start, I just wanna say thank you all for subscribing and for always coming back to my channel and supporting me. And if you're new here, welcome to the club. I hope you like it here. Last year I did a college morning routine back in my old dorm and obviously it's different now. I'm in a different apartment. So I figured it's best to update it. And it's also cause times have changed a little bit. I don't go out as much. It's a lot more mundane, honestly. So don't expect anything exciting in this video. It's just a reality that a lot of students go through and there's nothing to be ashamed about. So without further ado, here's my updated day in my life as a college student during a pandemic and during an election. <laughs> Even though it'd be the same without those last two things. You all know I sleep on a Japanese mattress. I'm done talking about why it's beneficial. So if you're curious, just look it up. Everyone has a preference. I personally don't mind it. I like to wake up at 8.30 a.m. in my head. In reality, it's around 9.30 or 10. I have around five alarms between eight and nine. These are all the ones I have set. Notice how that says 8.16 because I'm still too lazy to change it to 8.15. Don't feel like it. <laughs> so I usually wake up late and my roommate just gets up before me and nothing wakes me up ever. I've been sleeping with a hoodie and three blankets on lately just because it's getting colder. It's always windy in New York and I'm between two buildings so it's just a wind tunnel that you can hear. And I have to pay something called electricity. No ma'am, I'm not doing that. <laughs> so we try to keep this heater off at all times. I don't care how many blankets it takes. I want that bill to stay low. These are all the plushies I sleep with. It's a hassle to organize them every day because I just lose them. I'm still trying to find one that's just somewhere in that mess. And eventually when I ascend, I put on my non-prescription glasses. Don't come for me, these are blue light. But I always have a water bottle next to me because I take like a huge gulp of water because your breath stinks. That's not a read, it's just how it is. Cold water just helps them wake up. So there's always ice in it and I just feel like it gets the gears grinding, you know, the, the butter churning. Mm, I should stop talking. I always wear slippers because they're cute and they're very comfortable and I don't like my feet getting dirty. Next up is my skincare routine. It's been getting more cold lately so I find myself using more moisturizing products and that brings me to our sponsor Belief. Belief originated from Korea and they combine herbal traditions with modern skincare science in order to provide the utmost care for your skin. Their brand statement is to believe in truth because they always want to be transparent in what's inside their products and they have a holiday gift set out of Sephora. Inside here are four products. You get a full-size moisturizing balm, a cleansing balm, a toner, and an eye cream. And all these cost the same price as just buying the full-size moisturizing balm. I can also read the French on the back. Nettoyer, creme pour les yeux. I know it's bad, but at least I can read it. The moisturizing balm is great for people who get drier skin during the winter months like me. It's velvety but not oily at the same time, and it provides up to 26 hours of moisture without your skin flaking. The cleansing balm not only takes off makeup at the end of the day, but also helps maintain your skin moisture because it doesn't strip your skin. The hydrating toner is water-based, and it has hyaluronic acid, and it has other beneficial ingredients to help retain the moisture in your skin. The eye cream also provides 26 hours of moisture specifically for around your eyes and it helps keep the skin around your eyes smooth and plump. They're also doing a giveaway each week on their Instagram at BeliefUSA so if you want to get in on that just make sure you keep up with their Instagram account. I'm also doing a giveaway on my Instagram account so uh at FrederickChenYT go follow it. Why aren't you? Excuse me? A little aggressive there. So if you want this set, it's available at Sephora and the link is in the description. If you're a Sephora member, there's likely a sale for you as well. So enjoy while it lasts. And thanks Belief for sponsoring me. So once I'm done with all my skincare, it's time for plants. Guys, I've been getting so addicted to plants lately. I try to find more plants to collect. I follow all the plant channels now like Plant Arena. Jenna Marbles has changed me since that plant tour. Even though it was a year ago, I still watch it every day. Some of these plants aren't too amazing because barely any of them are from a nursery. I always got them from a second hand. You could say I'm thrifting for plants. I don't advise that all the time because they come with bad insects and I have to pluck them off. But most of them are looking gorgeous. Look at this one right here. Isn't she beautiful? His name is Zeke. And then I got this Monstera light for no reason. Also second hand. Did I need it? No. I got a watering can for them. I have a mister. That it doesn't do anything, I just like doing it. I have a humidifier always on. I turned it off just for this video, but after this, I'm turning it right back on because I'm so paranoid they're gonna die of just crispy leaves. And I even have grow lights for them. I don't need any of that. I just really like taking care of plants. It's like taking care of children, except you don't have to worry about them whining. They don't verbally do that, they physically show that they're whining. Like, look at this Monstera. Someone did that plant so dirty, and now look at it. It's terrible for the plant, but at least it's turning into a fall color. Once I'm done with that, I'm usually hungry by then. I'm also late to class, usually, so I will just turn on my Zoom meeting right here, and to my professors, I'm sorry if you're watching, I stand up, I walk out of the room with earbuds in, and I make breakfast while listening to you. But not listening to you, you know what I mean? My classes are more laid back this year. I can make a whole video about 
about them if you're curious as to what my schedule looks like. My earliest class is 10 a.m. so I'm never in a rush really. And they're also all online and that's something that's changed. None of these things are in person and even if you do go in person it's not beneficial so everyone just stays at home. I'm one of the lucky ones because all my stuff is online in general because I design and I don't have to dance or perform or build stuff even though I go to engineering school. So I'm more lucky in that case. For other people, it's much harder and they do have blended classes. So breakfast, what do I eat? Well, sometimes nothing. It's just vitamins because I'm just not in the mood, but I don't advise that. Usually I have sourdough bread because it's just my go-to. I always have it ready. It's so easy to make and it tastes great and it's fermented. My middle name is fermentation. Did you know that? Well, now you know. But lately I've been liking this yogurt. I like to say it's a parfait even though it's totally doing a disservice to parfaits. It's just Greek yogurt with frozen berries, granola, honey, obtuse, rubber goose, green mousse, guava juice. <laughs> I ran out of cereal two months ago, so I haven't had that lately, but special case, my favorite. And I'm not gonna sit here and tell you all that I just do this every day. No, sometimes I have leftovers. These are fries from Five Guys. I ordered a large. That's like days worth of fries right there. So I'll often have leftovers too. I'm not a crazy person who can just make breakfast every day. If you can do that, good on you. It's not my reality. And because my only class is at 10, the other ones start at 12. So I just sit back and enjoy my breakfast. I just sit down at a table, watch TV, watch the Great British Baking Show, watch the election results, or most likely plant videos. And obviously I hang out with my roommates too. Once I'm done with breakfast, I like to get dressed because even though I don't go out much, it just makes me feel good. And if there's one thing I learned about self-care is that first of all, do it for yourself because you should care about yourself. And personally, it makes me feel better. Oh, by the way, uh, this is how my skin is looking. So I don't want anyone to think that I just have perfect skin. No YouTuber has perfect skin. We all lied to you because of the camera and the lighting. Notice the difference. My skin is so much better. It was much worse two months ago. If you don't know, I do a skincare update on my second channel. And now I just feel better with it because I'm content with the fact that it's not perfect. So you all should be content with where your skin is at because no one's is perfect. They all like to me. Perfect skin is a myth. I always try to say feel good about yourself and what helps is dressing for me. You should only do it for yourself. I literally don't even show my camera on Zoom when, I, when I'm dressed like this because I don't want to. I just like feeling good. And if I want to feel extra good, I'll put on some jewelry. I have this little jewelry box and it has all my earrings, bracelets, necklaces, and rings. These are my lucky bracelets that I try to put on every day. It's just my good luck charms now. They all have special meaning to them. Some of them, not all of them. My earrings and necklace are from Hal in Hal's Moving Castle. And the only makeup I'll do nowadays is just eyebrows because I don't see the point in doing foundation if I'm gonna wear a mask and I just want my skin to breathe. So I do wanna get rid of my black eyeshadow so I always just put on eyebrows. Granted, it doesn't even look different because I, I don't do much. And guess what the rest of the day is? It's what I'm doing right now. I'm either recording, sitting at my desk, editing. I'm not gonna mention lunch and dinner because it honestly varies every day. Sometimes I order delivery, sometimes I make pasta, sometimes it's nothing. I don't advise that. Usually it's leftover fries, but my whole day is just by a desk now. And then I'm editing by my desk and then I'm filming by my desk. And I'll take a nap occasionally, obviously, because everyone needs it. Being stuck in a room, is tiring. Fun fact, it's actually very boring. I would say majority of the day is spending with my plants though. <laughs> and obviously having roommates makes me feel better. It's nice having friends who are also your roommates and it's nice to not be alone at home, but that's really about it. It's really mundane, I told you. Once I do my nighttime routine, I go to sleep between 1 and 2 a.m. and it's just the same cycle. I also have a class from 5.45 to 9 p.m. So that's nice. It's a good semester. It's a good semester. <laughs> so that's it. That's the day of my life. If you guys enjoyed, give this video a like, leave a comment down below, subscribe for more videos every week. I post every Saturday. If you want to see more vlogs, skincare and hauls, go to my second channel. And if you want to listen to our podcast, go follow it. It's on Spotify and Apple now. Once again, my social media is Frederick Chen YT. And as always, I love you guys and everything is less than three. And I think fan art of the week is going to be this one. I don't think I ever took a picture like this, but I really miss that sweater. And you did great with the colors. I think this is color pencil. Jesus. I love that sunflower and I love the Minecraft bee even though it still triggers me, but thank you for drawing that. I'll see you guys next week. Bye!